Yeah, so today we are rolling out a nationwide education campaign around non-fungible tokens. We've done an in-depth study of what businesses are building around NFTs. Um, and what we're finding is that this is a bedrock for non-financial applications and use cases of blockchain technology. And th this is very different than um, digital assets that are financial in nature. Uh, the current regulatory system that the industry finds itself in is a cautionary tale when we don't have regulatory clarity or just you know basic regulatory frameworks in place for businesses to build, it squashes innovation and it pushes intellectual property overseas. That's happening with financial applications of digital assets today. We want to get ahead of that for non-financial applications. Um, in the NFT space, um, we are seeing this technology um, being applied to industries beyond just art. Uh, that's kind of like the first obvious one our, it, it is, it's digital arts, but we're seeing the ticketing industry um, leverage this to combat things like ticket fraud and scalper bots. Um, um, NFTs are also being used by some of the biggest commercial brands in the world to create new types of products and to drive brand loyalty and brand rewards. Uh, and we're also seeing this from a supply chain perspective. Um, so we see a lot of important innovation that's happening and our education campaign is to get ahead of regulatory conversations to make sure when it is time to discuss regulatory um, oversight for non-financial applications, we're doing so in um, we're doing so in, in an informed place. Uh, so we're, we're happy to, to spearhead these efforts and to be proactive in terms of making sure policymakers are up to speed on new innovations that are coming to market uh, and moving beyond financial applications into non-financial applications is an important part of the conversation uh, for blockchain technology, particularly as we're seeing you know, the biggest regulatory overhauls for digital assets being developed right now in the U.S. Congress.